What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So one of the things that's always been kind of a limiting factor is the built-in cut component functionality allows you to create objects like windows and doors that cut holes in walls only if the walls don't have any thickness, so if they're only made up of one face. This extension allows you to create those openings in walls that do have thickness, which is a huge time saver because you don't have to go back in and trace out openings and cut out faces and that kind of thing, you just move your objects around. Um, before I get started, today's extension tutorial is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is an introductory course that I created to really give kind of a start to finish knowledge of SketchUp. So we start off learning basic tools, then we get into more advanced applications, um, things like interior design modeling, exporting the layout, and an introduction to photorealistic rendering, that sort of thing. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to get a little bit more SketchUp training, you can check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. And that course is 20% off on all pre-orders through 314. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the issues with SketchUp is it has the built-in functionality to create cut components or components that automatically cut a hole in walls. And in order to do that, all you have to do is just go inside of a wall and make an object. So in this case, let's say I had a four foot by four foot window. And then all you need to do is just right click on it, click make component, and make sure the glue to is set to something. Um, in this case, we'll just leave it on any. And you just want to make sure that the cut opening option is checked. We could just call this window one. And we'll click create. And so now if I was to edit this window, and probably what I'll do is I'll just make a copy of it off to the side. If you remember, these are both components. So if I change one, the other ones will change as well. But if I was to take this window and I was to give it some depth and then create an opening, then you can see how basically anywhere I place this in this wall, SketchUp cuts an opening in that wall. So it's, it's useful for creating things like windows. So it's really useful for creating things like window and door openings inside your models. And if you bring copies of this in from your components section of your tray, then this will automatically glue this to this face so you can cut these different openings, which is great as long as you're cutting an opening in a wall that only has a single thickness. So for example, if I tried to bring the th same thing into this thickened wall, you can see how it can only cut a hole in one face. So it can't cut a hole in the front face or it can't cut a hole in the front face and the back face. Um, with SketchUp's built-in functions, it only cuts a hole in a single face. However, with the extension Double Cut, which is the extension that we're talking about, you can actually create openings in these full faces. So you can see how this isn't cutting a hole in this opening, but if you right click on this and you go into Double Cut and you click Enable, once you've installed that extension, you can see how Double Cut will use that to cut an opening in both sides of your wall. So if I was to bring another one of these in, it would do the same thing. It glues it to this face and then it cuts a hole in this wall. And so one thing you may note is sometimes if you bring a component in and you place it on a face, this doesn't work. And that's because when you brought this in, it didn't glue to the face properly. Well, one of the functions Double Cut has is you can select your wall and you can select your window and you can right click and go to Double Cut and click Glue to Face. And when you click Glue to Face, then this is gonna glue this to this vertical face. It'll activate Double Cut and it'll cut your opening based on that. So you can adjust where they're at. And one thing to note is sometimes it won't update automatically. You may have to go down and right click and go down to double cut and click refresh in order to uh, get this to update where your opening is. But sometimes it'll just go ahead and update wherever you move these to. So you can see how these openings are just moving around in this wall. And so this can be a huge time saver because anyone that's worked with interiors and grouping things um, in SketchUp, knows that one of the things that gets really frustrating is you have to go in and a lot of the time when you don't have an extension like this active you have to like trace across the face and then delete out faces and do all this different stuff in order to get your openings in your walls properly so it's a very simple extension it basically just kind of runs in the background when you're working with cut components um, but it's definitely a time saver you can see how easy it is for me to come in here and create openings and other things inside 
these walls. So there's not a whole lot else to say about this extension. Like I said, it's very simple, but if you can incorporate it into your workflow, you can see how it could be a huge time saver. So uh, if you're looking for more information about double cut, you can go to the sketchupessentials.com slash double cut. I will note that that's an affiliate link. So if you do end up purchasing this extension, I do receive a small commission, but I'd recommend you at least go check out the free trial and see if it fits in your workflow because it's not a very expensive extension. And for the amount of time it could save you, it could be totally worth it. Um, that's where I'm going to end today's video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this something you're interested in that you'd find helpful? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.